Family bonds tend to be far stronger than the bonds we have with any other people. In general, family members stick together and stand up for one another. So it's natural for us to think that Jesus' earthly family would have a place of greater importance than his other followers. But in Mark chapter 3, Jesus showed us that's not the case. After his conflict with the Pharisees about healing on the Sabbath and selecting his 12 disciples, then Jesus' mother and brothers came to see him, verse 31 says. They stood outside and sent word for him to come out and talk with them. There was a crowd sitting around Jesus and someone said, your mother and your brothers are outside asking for you. Jesus replied, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Then he looked at those around him and said, look, these are my mother and brothers. Anyone who does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. Today's passage doesn't mean that Mary, Joseph, and the brothers and sisters of Jesus were unimportant to him. Jesus honored and cared for his earthly family. What it does mean is that you and I, by faith and obedience, are just as important as they were to Jesus. George Calvin, that great theologian and pastor, said it this way, everyone who is regenerated by the Spirit and gives himself up entirely to God for true justification, is then admitted to the closest union with Christ and becomes one with him. See, through faith, we all have a seat at the table. We're all a part of the family of Jesus Christ. 